Hi, this is our third uh, online course. This time we will talk about the uh, 1.4 to dot, uh, 2.0 uh, version mi uh, migrations. So uh, we got here uh, the same uh, Debian box as we got uh, before with uh, a clean uh, a clean installations. So first we will install the 1.4 version versions. Then we will uh, migrate it to the uh, 2.0. So let's start. So we download the all versions. Then we will enter it and call the install script. Up. A magical inter install script. So uh, this intel install script old, old one uh, was in fact doing all that we we did in the uh, in the course one and two, but uh, it was uh, with lot of uh, of magic. Now it's more it's more explicit. So let's call it. It's downloading a lot of things, uh, checking dependency and things like this. Yep. It will automatically in install a um, lot of modules, configure all in the uh, USA local Shinken. All will be there. Oh, it's okay. So we can check. We've got several diamonds. We now got uh, Shinken users. The uh, script uh, created, and we should have the web interface. Here we go. Uh, so we can look at the two main configuration files. Let's just put CFG. That was loading flat files for configurations, and the specific one that was about all the uh, modules, uh, the diamonds and things like this. Uh, in the 2.0 versions, uh, all is in one file. In file, uh, this file is calling a lot of other ones, so it's uh, there is a, a better a better configuration uh, layout. So we will start the migration. First, we need to stop Shinken. So, and then all we need is to call the 2.0 installation like we did in the first course. Forget about this. This was about uh, uh, a test I did before. This was a void file. Here we go. Then we will have the full 2.0 installation in the etc Shinken directory with a lot of files and especially the Shinken.cfg that will call all the others file and directories. We got a lot of directories in fact. Oh, here we go. In fact, uh, we will edit the etc default Shinken file that is um, calling the Shinken CFG uh, parameter that is linked to this file and we will change it to the nejos.cfg file and there is another configuration parameter that in this one that is by default uh, commented and we will link to our old shinken dot dash specific dot cfg file so we go in station is in progress okay it's done so let's look at this default file this default file is called by the, uh, the, the inedi scripts Default files, 
here we go so by default it, by default it called the shinken CLG file so we command this one and we just give him the old configuration file and we got this one too for the specific with all the modules and things like this and that's all we can check the configurations it's okay uh, because the, uh, the configuration didn't change between the uh, 1.4 and 2.0 uh, versions it was just a, a configuration uh, layout of a change so let's start Shinken and we can look at the uh, more. we can see that the arbiter is calling our old nejos.cfg file and the Shinken specific one, one. but with the, 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 the new code the new versions we can check with TV uh, or TV version TV version so let's look at the web UI hmm, don't work, why? because in fact the 2.0 versions came without any modules we got all the modules configuration there like the old web UI there oh, module name, web UI, this one but we don't have the, uh, the uh, modules called code into the live Shinken modules we just got dummy ones the 1.4 versions uh, the modules were embedded but now the, we need to uh, install it uh, explicitly so uh, the 1.4 version enable a lot of modules by default we need to list them so they, are, they were all in the specific file so we select them forget about these lines there are about the uh, mysql uh, uh, modules it was uh, uh, forget about it the lines that we need are this one these modules are loaded by the web ui modules this one is logged uh, is loaded by the live statue one this are the module for the um, for the broker this module is for the arbit arbiter and this one are for the scheduler so we need to install all this uh, code uh, all these modules code in fact you got here the mapping about the modules name and the um, shinken.io uh, package name so we just we will just ask the installation so like in the first course before calling the CLI we need to init it it's ok so now we got the modules directory to install our configurations you will also install a sample configuration into the etc shinken directory but we don't mind because our active configuration is this one the etc shinken is never called by the, uh, the uh, 1.4 nejos.cfg uh, configuration so it's not a problem so let's install install all of this ok block mode Web UI is uh, some few megabytes. Okay. No. The lives modules is now filled with the 
my MongoDB with the code be module dot i code. So we can stop Shinken and start it. We will start in a, in debug mode in order to 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 clearly see if and to enable the, the info uh, info level. So we will uh, look at the uh, loaded modules. So I will go up. Bit. And grep, it's okay. So now the modules are loaded by the diamonds, like here is the broker. Broker, 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 here. Broker load the live statue, simple log, and web UI, for example. So now we can check at the web UI. It's okay, it's back. That's all. We got uh, uh, the uh, 2.0 uh, uh, code, but we're running with uh, our, uh, our 1.4 configurations. And since there were not uh, um, configuration change, you can uh, you can keep it uh, like this. So that's all for for this course. The uh, the next one will be about the, the, the first distributed setup. Uh, we will start with uh, just the IFLBT one. So, so, see you.